I see wiggling toes. That's a good sign. Yeah, my sinus is just my sinus just cleared right up. Hey, Steve. Hey, how's it going? Good to All see right. you. Welcome. Thank so, you. are you new checked out today? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to do something new with you today. I want you to check something out. But uh, before we do that, uh, I just wanted to ask you a question. If you if you remember, do you remember how many years ago it was when we first met? Mm, gosh, it's been probably over 10 years. Hey, you're right. It has yeah. been over 10 years since 2009. Yeah. Do you remember how you found out about our office? I pulled up outside to go buy some cigars and I looked through the window and I saw tables and I saw alphabotic tables and I thought, I haven't met anyone in Camarillo that knew about alphabotic. So there was a phone number on the window. So I called it right away when I sat out front and got you on the phone and I said, what are you doing with alphabetic tables? And you said, what do you know about it? And I said, <laughs> nobody I knows about alphabetic <laughs> tables. So in alphabetics is, for most people might know, it's um, a Y-axis traction of the spine adjustment. And uh, you need a, a specific table. So we're going to go take a look at that table. And this is the one that you actually saw. And this is how you found out about us. Okay. So this right here. Um, the idea behind it is when you lie down on your back, you have gravity already decompressing your spine and it makes it easier for the doctor to come on underneath the occiput and get that Y-axis traction. Um, but today we're going to be checking out, we're going to do something a little different. Okay. You know, I want you to see for the first time. So this is Steve Thomas' first Y-strap adjustment we're going to do. But first, we'll, let's get you assessed. It's been a while, I'm excited. Right? Yeah. All right. Come on over. So why don't you have a seat here okay. and uh, just get me updated. I know it's been a while. What's been going on? Well, uh, a few months back I had an MRI and uh, they told me my L4, L5 were degenerating from my age of uh, 73. Was there any bulging? They said degeneration of the mm -hmm. disc. And they offered a epidural to try first and then an operation. And I said both of those were no option. I didn't want to do that. Yep. Uh, I've known about alphabetics and have experienced it for years and chiropractic since I was 25. Mm -hmm. And I knew that there could be another source or way to repair it, uh, especially with diet or exercise. Which you made some changes which there. Which I made some changes some success. There. Yes. You, you yeah, got me updated on really that. Really good supplements that work. And... Um, I started to minimize my pain and was able to go out and play golf without without pain and awesome. without uh, and sleep at night without pain. So, so nutritional changes yes. uh, it's helped to the point where you can uh, get the golf swing moving better without pain, but we still have that compressed degenerative disc. And 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 the, and the way it was explained to me when I bought my supplements, I had taken cholesterol medication for 22 years, That's right. and the statins have damaged the nerve in yeah. my lower spine, and they've got to be fixed. They got to be corrected. And I and I, I still I've changed my medication on the cholesterol medication, but. At the same time, I'm taking these other actions to make sure that that pain doesn't come back. And I hope everybody heard that. That's really important. Statins for how many years? 22 years. And 20 years of statins, it actually only takes about five years. And the research we found out that it increases your chance of neuropathy or nerve issues, nerve type of pains by about 500%. So it's substantial. That's legitimate. So I'm glad we got that figured out. I mean, we still got that compressed disc. So um, do you, does it cause nerve pain down your leg? Yes, down the back of my leg, more so on the left side than the right. Does it go past your knee? It stays above my knee. Okay, since uh, you change your diet, the nerve pain has improved too, or the back the, pain? The back pain's improved. Mm -hmm. uh, I can actually play golf without pain. It's affected my golf swing a little bit, but my brain has to get into that memory swing, and and it sometimes has an issue because it's expecting pain, but there's no pain. So, okay. <laughs> so I got to get that's that a good adjusted. problem to yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to assess your back. We're going to look for uh, any misalignment of your spine, compression of that disc, as well as any nerve weakness uh, yeah. happening in the muscle in the leg. Okay. okay. So I'm going to have you go face down on this table. Okay. Shoes off. Um, you please take them off. Yeah. So great place to start. Is assessing the leg length. Long 
right? Long lat. So there's a lot of torsion in the pelvis. I also feel a lot of compression in the knee and hip. Which one do you feel more, right side or left side? Left. Okay, and you feel that in the back, the knee, where do you feel it? Uh, more in the, more like in the front of my leg. So it feels just tighter here. Yeah, right in there, yeah. And, and that makes sense. The area that's gonna have more nerve pressure doesn't just get weaker, it also gets tighter. Yes. And we're gonna go from the sacrum to check the movement. L5. L4. Let's rotate on that posterior side. Yeah, and this is classic. I, Steve, I, I actually feel more tightness on that right side. Do you feel that as well? Yes, I do. And what happens is this right side is doing more work. It's it's taking on the workload that this nerve deficit that's been created through the injury, through the disc compression and deterioration right there between that L4, L5. So first we're just gonna get some disc decompression and get some fluids moving through that disc and you feel this table drop away. And what I want you to do is reach out in front of you with your hands and you're gonna grab that. Okay. And that's gonna anchor down the fascia from your shoulders to your lumbar spine and you're gonna feel the table drop away. You handle that okay? Oh yeah. We're gonna open up that right side. Okay, feel that nice oh, yeah, traction good. open it up. That feels yeah. okay? Feels great. Awesome. Oh, yeah. We're gonna emphasize that right side a little bit more just to help open up the musculature and also decompress the knee joints, all those muscles going from the hips to the knees. They've been, they're tight and stiff. When I get into this left knee, even that's tighter. So it's opening up. And then we're gonna come around this way. And we're gonna gap open that L4, L5 disc, laterally bending. You good? Oh yeah. Yep, feel me anchoring down that L4 and bringing the wedge away from that L4, L5 disc. That musculature is softening up, creating more symmetry. Now I feel a little bit more down in that L5 between the sacrum, so we're gonna give that some time to open up. Just take a deep breath coming down. Awesome. Just take a couple deep breaths. Steve. I'm gonna have you stand up. I just want you to come off the table and you're gonna march in place. Okay. March in place. Sometimes it lulls that area to sleep because it's very relaxing to it. So we want to wake it up a little bit as we've gotten some more fluids into that yeah, disc. Feel, uh, Things will start to loosen up. You're feeling the knees, the hips. I could feel the circulation while I was getting it done. I could feel it coming open up. Good. Yeah, lifeline coming back. Okay, now we're gonna put your head right about here and your legs down here. Great. Face up. Oh, face up? Yep, sorry about that. Okay. I'm gonna scoot down just a tad more. That's perfect, right there. So we, what, what we want to do, because there's so much tension coming from the shoulders here, is roll those shoulders back a little bit more. So when we do the Y-axis adjustment, it'll open up safely through the neck all the way down to the low back. Okay. 
just to give you a visual, Steve, this is the y-axis, this is the traction, this is the alpha body alignment. Instead of my hands, though, we're going to use this y-strap here. Okay. Okay. We're going to bring this to under your occiput. And just relax that I'm actually going to lift your neck into the air so I can feel the tension of the suboxitals. Let your head rest in my hand a little bit more there. Just gonna feel a gentle traction there. Okay, and you can see his neck start to lengthen when we do that, and when we relax it, it starts to shorten again. You handle that okay? Mm -hmm. How did that feel? Feels great. Okay. Okay. And what we want is a nice release of the spine. You're gonna take a deep breath. Let it go. All the muscles relax. You'll feel the impulse. Good. Bring this out and just relax. Good, good movement. Soften up those tempo and occiput areas of the, sp the skull. You wiggling toes? That's a good sign. Yeah, my sinus is just my sinus just cleared right up. It's good. I, it improved my breathing by fifty percent. Ready for another eighteen? Yep. Let me just check the L four nerve root here. Pull your foot up and in. Resist against my hand right there. Okay. Pull. Good. Pull your foot up and in. Resist. Uh, up towards you. There you go. Pull your foot up and at. Push up and the other side right there. Push up. Okay. Everything's working great. I'm going to have you go ahead and turn to your side so you're going to come off the table there. Left side. Yep. Drop your feet down. Use your elbows to bring you up. Okay. And go ahead and sit up there, Steve. Shut up. Yep. Let's just take a couple deep breaths from this position. The room's brighter. That was a trick. I just turned on the lights. <laughs> you turned the lights up? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and stand up. Let's just kind of walk in place. Chin up tall. Okay, overall, how do you feel right now? I feel balanced. I feel taller. Instantly, my sinus area is just cleared right up. Yeah. I've always had a little issue with like an allergy type thing, but it just like, as soon as you did that, within seconds, opened right up. My breathing became very easy. Awesome. Now, as a, as a veteran of the alphabetic alignment versus the Y strap, how do they feel different? Almost day and night. The Y strap seemed to be much more effective, mm. yeah, even though it wasn't. Uh, it's always hard when the alpha body, when I was getting them, it was always hard for Jack to get a position. Yeah. It was difficult. Jack was his first chiropractor. That's Jack how he Dunn found out. Great, great guys since passed. But yeah. yeah. And he would always have difficulty. Sometimes he would have to do it a couple times to make sure he got a movement. But the strap seemed to grab it perfectly. Yeah. And gave it evenly. Difference. Yes. And just allowed you to relax better. And I'm think. starting to feel, I remember my very first alphabotic, I was probably in my early 30s. And I so was like driving a, I'll like tell 10 you years what, ago maybe? I'll yeah. tell you what, no. I was driving a DeLorean. <laughs> and that was That's 1983 awesome. or 82. <laughs> and I was driving back from Santa Paul to Oxnard. And as I got halfway back home, I felt like somebody had turned a valve on my lower back with hot blood. Mm. And it was rushing up my back into my brain. In the wow. back of my head, I could feel it tingle. I could feel the hot circulation. Yeah. I called him immediately while I was driving and said, "Hey, what did you do to me?" <laughs> and I told him what the symptoms were, and he said, "You got a great movement. You got a great, great, mm -hmm. uh, great alignment." And from that day on, I had chronic sciatic nerves before that, sciatic uh, uh, in the left and the right leg. Yeah, way back then. Way back then, yeah. and I was a young man having sciatic nerve problems. 
And after I got my first uh, alphabetic alignment, uh, after that, I don't think I can ever remember having them again until yeah. recently in the last year or so. Yeah. Awesome. So it's great. Right on. Well, I think you're ready for another 18. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Billy Graham here. <laughs>